It was like the old days when Mel Reynolds got a lot of media attention as a promising congressman and when he was convicted of having sex with an underage girl. All of us have fall, fallen short of our dreams in life on occasion, but it is part of the Judeo-Christian spirit to give people an opportunity to show what they can do. Next to a campaign poster that said Redemption, Reynolds today called his transgressions, which included a bank fraud conviction, mistakes. We wanted to know how he now looks at his time in the criminal justice system. Do you feel that you were a victim? Do you have remorse over that period? How would you explain? I've said, and I'll say it again, I made mistakes. But again, that was almost 18, almost 20 years ago. But back then, he was defiant. And I will not be proven guilty in this matter because I'm innocent. Today, Reynolds says he has the best government experience for second district voters, but he'll face a difficult campaign here. Would you be willing to listen to him at least? Yes, I would listen, but I probably wouldn't vote for him. Scratch him off the list. You don't think he deserves a second chance? Not at all. Why not at all. Just mess around with teenage girls. Mel Reynolds is now 60 years old. He wants voters to see his life before the criminal convictions, from growing up poor to a Rhodes Scholarship to the United States Congress. But voters in the 2nd Congressional District told us they are simply tired of scandal. Their last three congressmen have been tainted by it. In the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.